In the lifting and rigging marketplace, there are plenty of options when it comes to buying wire rope slings. These slings can be categorized as either domestic, import, or fall into a confusing gray area where the product may be labeled as made in the USA or American-made, but are manufactured from or containing imported materials. So how do you make the right decision with so many options? By the end of this video, you'll be up to speed on everything surrounding domestic and import wire rope slings. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Kay. Over the years, the stigma that was attached to import versus domestic rigging products has begun to fade away. Today, there are many imported rigging products in the market that are quality pieces, safe to use, and meet the same federal requirements as domestic rigging products. If you've taken the steps to vet your supplier and your supplier is vetting their manufacturer, then you've done a good job of covering your bases. In this video, we'll cover the difference between domestic wire rope slings, wire rope slings made in the USA, and import wire rope slings, and what these all mean in terms of the country of origin for the raw materials and components, as well as their location where they were assembled. We sat down with Adam Franz, Crane Hotline's 2019 corporate top trainer, and Mozilla's Mid-Atlantic regional sales manager to understand the difference. A domestic wire rope sling is a sling that uses components such as the wire rope and the sleeves from raw material made in the USA. The labor to make these wire rope slings is also performed in the USA. One advantage to using a domestic wire rope sling is that companies who source their materials domestically and make their rigging products domestically are more equipped to handle special or customized products. This is where it gets a little misleading in our industry. Some companies may use the term made in the USA because the labor to make the wire rope sling is performed in the USA. Essentially, the finished goods, the wire rope sling, is assembled in the USA. And that's the only claim that can be made. In similar instances, you'll see made in the USA claims made by some major auto manufacturers who have assembly plants located in the USA. They may manufacture the majority of the car components overseas, but the actual assembly of the vehicle is performed here in the United States by American workers. The important difference between a true domestic wire rope and a wire rope that is made in the USA is that the finished version of the sling can be assembled in the USA using raw materials, such as the wire rope and sleeves that are either sourced entirely overseas or could be a combination of domestically sourced and imported materials. To ensure that a wire rope sling meets the true definition of a domestic product, the raw material should be made in the USA and the labor to make the finished part should be performed in the USA. If import wire rope is used, then the sling should be considered an import product, not a domestic product. You can request a certificate of conformance from the supplier to make sure that the wire rope sling that you're purchasing meets the same federal specifications as those required for domestic made wire rope. Import wire rope slings are defined as slings that are manufactured and assembled overseas or outside of the USA. These slings use raw materials such as the wire rope and the sleeves that are made in a country other than the USA. The labor to make these wire rope slings is performed in a country outside of the USA as well. They are then shipped here to the United States in a shipping container and are considered imported products. Many rigging shops offer imported wire rope slings in the most common sizes and configurations and at a lower price. Overseas manufacturers traditionally focus on the most common sizes and configurations and run large product batches. This allows them to run their business with little to no overhead and keep their costs down, passing that savings along to the end user. While the quality of imported wire rope slings has improved with the spread of modern manufacturing methods and quality control programs, there are still some overseas factories using antiquated technologies and have little to no oversight on the quality and testing. Before you buy an import rigging product, ask the distributor if they or someone from their company 
has been to the facility where they're making that equipment. If they say no, simply don't buy it. If a distributor has visited the facility that is producing their rigging products, it should tell you that they are vetting their import suppliers and care about the people that are using the products as well as the people that are making them. What to look for when considering import wire rope. When deciding on whether you want to use domestic or import wire rope slings for your company's lifting program, consider the following. Number one, make sure that the import wire rope slings have markings in accordance with federal standards and ask for a certificate of conformance from the supplier. Number two, make sure the distributor has visited the facility that produces their import wire rope and has properly vetted them. Number three, make sure the wholesaler or distributor has adequate product liability insurance. Even if the specific overseas manufacturer has liability insurance, if an incident were to occur, it is nearly impossible to collect on any claim. Number four, make certain that your distributor has products made to their specifications, not the manufacturers. This promotes consistent quality and lessens the liability. Number five, make certain that your wholesaler or distributor does not buy through a broker. Buying through a broker can oftentimes lead to mixed product of varying quality from multiple manufacturing facilities. Number six, make sure the import product supplier has a product traceability program in place. And finally, make sure the distributor conducts their own inspection and testing in-house. When sourcing wire ropes or wire rope slings for your next lifting project, make sure that you do your research and identify whether the product that you're buying is truly a domestic made product, was assembled in the USA using materials or components from overseas, or was manufactured and assembled in an overseas facility. Are you looking to further your understanding of slings? Check out our free online lifting sling inspection course by checking out the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any questions or just wanna say hi. Once again, my name is Kay and I'll see you later.